So you're thinking about moving to Greenville and more specifically the Traveler's Rest area but you wanna know what people wish they had known before they ever moved here. In this video, we're gonna go over the top five things that most people probably wanted to know before they ever got here. So let's go ahead and get into it. So if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything about the Greenville area, especially Traveler's Rest, where we are today, then make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about everything about the upstate. I'm Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team and whether you're moving a week from now or a year from now, make sure you reach out to us. All of our information is below and we'd love to help you have a smooth transition to the upstate. So let's go ahead and hop into the video. For me to unpack the first thing that most people wish they understood about Traveler's Rest before moving here, I have to make sure you know the location of Traveler's Rest. So Traveler's Rest is at the bottom of the Blue Ridge Mountains, well, kind of part of the Blue Ridge Mountains. So it's like right here. Downtown Greenville is right here. Hendersonville is about right here, and then Asheville and Spartanburg. Why this matters is there's just one road that's going to, after you get out of Traveler's Rest and onto a highway to, or onto a road to get you to any of those places on 276, is it's hard to get to them if you don't have that road, if it's blocked off. So if there's a car accident and you have it blocked, you're not going that way and the back roads don't really coincide with each other to get you around it. So you would have to go up and around to get down. So that's kind of funky at first, right? And then also, even if there's not a car accident, it's a little frustrating. So say you're in Traveler's Rest and you wanna go over to Five Forks or Simpsonville, the other part of Five Forks. And let's just say you don't wanna drive 35, 45 minutes, you're kind of out of luck because you're not going to be able to go anywhere but around and then up or around and up. You can't get to the highways quickly. You have to get to 85 by either going to downtown Greenville and up or to Spartanburg. I think you're getting the story. It's just you have to come out and around and it's just a hard thing for them to do. So being where it's located has caused a lot of frustration after people moved here, not really understanding the traffic patterns and what that would look like for them. One of the things that many people love about Traveler's Rest are the schools. It qualified to be an A- on niche.com. The A plus is perfect, y'all, so that's pretty darn near perfect. So you have Heritage Elementary, you have two different high schools to choose from, Blue Ridge and Traveler's Rest. And it's a close-knit community, so your children are gonna grow up and they're bumping to their teacher at the restaurants and stuff like that. So it's like a cool experience. If those schools didn't work for you, you're in Greenville County still. So you have the opportunity to do something called school choice. You apply for your children to go to a different school that you thought was best for them. There's no guarantees, but most of the time they're accepted. There's also magnet schools and things of that nature. You may have to work in Greenville, so you want your children to go to school close to that. That makes sense. So you would just check out niche.com or greatschools.org to figure out which one's best for your children. But schools are definitely something that people in Traveler's Rest love for their children. On the things that many people wish they knew before they moved to Traveler's Rest, that Furman University is really close by. It's actually, its address is Traveler's Rest. So if you don't like to have college-aged people around you during fall and spring, and I, what I mean, I mean it like they're, they're not influxing. It's not like there's a bazillion college kids here, but they're going to enjoy the downtown. And they are a really great school to have a lot of things for them there, but they're gonna enjoy their community too. So if you don't wanna be around a college, this isn't the place for you. It would be, and this one's gonna shock you because you don't really think about this one. The fact that you're gonna have random animals in your back and front yard at any random time. And it may not be where it ever happens to you, but I know people that have had this happen. There's been a bear cub in the backyard with a mama bear was coming because they were coming to look and ooh and ah at the baby bear cub. Mm, that's probably not a good idea. And we all think the cool song, what would the fox say? If a fox coming through your yard, leave fox settle, uh, said fox alone, okay? And there's gonna be coyotes, whether you're in Simpsonville in the back of the neighborhood or whether you're here, but remember, we're in their habitat. This area is gorgeous, it's lush, it's beautiful, and you're on the mountain, okay? You're right at the edge of it. So you're gonna have those type of animals. Many people that are coming from either New York, New Jersey, maybe California, they're not thinking about the fact that there's gonna be animals here and they just see all the beauty, they see all the wonderful restaurants and all that kind of stuff. Please understand, if you do not like animals or you are fearful of that happening, 
happening, this isn't the right place. Not for you. The last thing we're going to go over today over the things that people wish they knew before moving to Traveler's Rest is this bad boy right here. If you don't know where your cell phone tower is, you're going to have a struggle. And what I mean by that is if your home has bad cell service and you don't have strong Wi-Fi ability or internet speeds, it's going to be a struggle for you. But also when you're driving around Traveler's Rest, there's pockets where you're just going to drop a call because cell service isn't fabulous in the dip areas, right? And if you think about it, even if you have great internet service and Wi-Fi, if the power is out or the, um, the internet is out and you don't have cell service there, how are you going to call for help? So those are things that people really didn't like after moving here that they hadn't thought about or planned out before coming. So there you have it, the top five things that most people wish they knew about Traveler's Rest before moving here. So if they didn't scare you too much and you're still thinking about moving to the upstate, make sure you reach out to me, Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team. All of my information's below. And if you want videos just like this, make sure you click here so you can be the first to know about everything in the upstate.